Music is such a great metaphor for joining and becoming one with this song. Like if the atonement were a beautiful song, a, a total love song between God and his son, and where are all the notes that are making up that song? And every one of us is to, is to play our note, is to let our note be heard, is to sing our part in the song so that every note becomes the music and that music becomes the song. And that song is then just experienced as this beautiful flowing extension of creation of who we are. And that's why joining with Mighty Companions is just, is the fast track, because when you're together and something's feeling out of harmony together, you know, something's rubbing up, conflicting, someone's like, hey, we're, we're two notes in a song here, why is it that we sound terrible together? <laughs> We're all born with this natural voice. Everybody has a voice. So it's not about learning to sing. It's a process of unlearning. It's letting go of all the ways we try and control the voice, everything we try to do to create the sound. Fully letting go of that and then letting this pure sound just flow through and there's really nothing that we need to do in that. It all, it, it's something that just happens by itself. Like bees love a swarm, you feel the sound, you can't delay. At ease, it's all around you, it's in and out. At last release, at last release. The world is not the cause of our state of mind. Choosing our thoughts is where the state of mind comes. That's how we have the, we are empowered to have peace of mind consistently by realizing that we choose our thoughts and we can choose to align with very peaceful, loving thoughts that come from our source, our creator, and be very peaceful. And if we don't, then we will perceive things that seem to be external causes, but the external causes aren't really real. I got so excited and I I could actually hear the parts that were for Eric and Laura, like the whole song came to me at once. And I ran downstairs to say, a song just came through and I even heard your parts. And, and then I, I kind of like went into this little shy place where, oh my God, they're gonna hear these words. And I'm, I just got so like embarrassed and shameful, like seek you first the kingdom of heaven and all will be good. Like I was like, who wrote that? I went back upstairs and I prayed and I was like, this is not my song. Yeah, I don't understand. And um, so I went down that night and shared it with them. And, and Erica likes, goes, I love the song. What is with that verse, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven? What is, where does that come from? And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> For me, music is is simply a means of of letting myself be used by spirit, of of basically turning over my my own will and and saying I I would rather be the instrument than the player, and it's just such an amazing experience for me. If you're fearful, you can be fearful. If you're anxious, you can be anxious. If you're mad, if you're sad, whatever it is, it's really about really getting in touch with your deepest feelings and to allow that to be there and to also see that there's music in that. And I just remember um, receiving the homework for the first time. I was crying. I was crying like, oh my gosh, this is finally, I'm getting homework. That's for my soul.